Hi everyone, this is a video of the Luminara Lush collection from Social Claws, a requested one from a subscriber. They were interested in seeing an application demo. And I've also had some questions on how the new Luminara pigments compare to the original Aurora pigment. Now as you can see here, the Aurora is on the left, and that's your classic AB or Aurora Borealis finish, and then you have the three new ones in the collection and as you can see they are distinctly different finishes from the uh, original Aurora although Paradise the purple one over black is very similar to the Aurora over black but again you can see with Aurora that classic pink and blue color shift with the uh, AB effect these are all uh, inspired by the Swarovski crystal effects of the same name. The purple again is Paradise, blue is Bermuda, and pink is Volcano. And these samples are black, white, and clear. So we'll get started with our samples for this demo. I will be doing each pigment over the same deep blue color so you can see just how distinctly different each one is over the same color. I've used blue cobalt from First Gel. This is a German brand. I'll leave a link in the bottom there if you're interested. Now if you've seen my videos before you know that my go-to top coat is accents but I found with practicing with these pigments that I found that um, the pigment did prefer it seemed a slightly grabbier surface so experimenting with my top coats I found that Luxa seemed to work the best and I actually cured this for half the time than is suggested on their label so they suggest one minute in an LED so I cured this for 30 seconds and it gave me the desired uh, hardness or lack of hardness um, t for the pigment to stick to the best. I found that if the surface cured too hard it it was uh, almost like a patchy finish and again this is a, absolutely no reflection in any way the uh, on the pigment. This is 100% uh, the coating that the pigment is going over. So as you can see here, no special tools are needed. I'm simply using my bare finger, or you can use the finger cot that Angela provides in your kit to apply your pigment. Just give that a good rub. These are very smooth. Once you get them uh, rubbed on, they're pretty good. And there you have, you can see those gorgeous berry color shifts. There's a little bronzy in there, a little green. Very metallic, very smooth. Now for the sake of this video, I'm only going to show that I'm uh, coating these with one coat of top coat. But when I do my own manicures, especially using pigments, I will use a thin layer of hard gel over the pigment layer first, and then I will come in with a coat of the no wipe top coat after that. And that one step really has increased my, uh, personally has increased the wear of my pigments. So once again, this is the inspiration, the Swarovski Volcano Crystal specialty effect and over that deep jelly blue this is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pigment and again you can see how mirror that it is very smooth all right our next sample up is going to be uh, Bermuda And again, uh, I've done the deep blue jelly and applied one coat of the no wipe top coat over that, cured for 30 seconds in an LED lamp. And 
give that a good rub and make sure all areas are covered dust it off and now we're ready to top coat that nail And again, you can see how mirror the finish is. You've got that deep indigo blue with that gorgeous teal or aqua shift. One of my favorite pigments that Angela has put out so far. You can't go wrong with the Luminara collection. Be sure to float that pigment over the surface. You don't want to lift up any of that pigment into your top coat. It'll look glittery or sparkly and you're, you don't want that. You want it to look as smooth as possible. Once again, here's the inspiration. This is Swarovski's Bermuda Blue. Just gorgeous, deep, deep indigo and aqua colors. Very, very pretty. And our final Lush collection is Paradise. This is the purple one. Again, applying over our cured top coat. I've actually found that using a silicone tool with these um, started to remove pigment. So again, that's why I'm using my bare finger. Yeah, beautiful green with that blue undercoat. It's um, gold and green, it really very pretty. Be sure you seal your edges as well when using pigments. And here's the inspiration. This is Swarovski's Paradise Shine. And you'll find that once you apply your top coat, this will the mirror effect is actually a little more magnified too. So here are the three together. And again, you can see they over the same base color, they are distinctly different finishes and color shifts. I think she did a very good job basing these on her inspiration crystals. All right, now we're going to go ahead and show uh, this. Is, these are the original samples I did when I first posted a photograph of these. And again, we've got clear, white, and black are the first three. And then the fourth and fifth in each row are over different colors. We've got purple and blues and a neon pink and a red. So you can see just how versatile these pigments can look under different base colors and that's to me just the fun of playing with these and just seeing what fabulous results that you can come up with. I hear just a few tips on getting extended wear with your pigments. Uh, as I said, um, uh, several things that you can try. One with a hand file, just uh, file around the edges and the tip. That'll give your top coat something to stick to, basically. You can also try and use a dehydrator around the edges. You can apply a thin layer of hard gel over the pigment before you apply your top coat. And if you don't want to use hard gel or don't have it, you can uh, also apply two coats of your favorite No Wipe, and that will help as well. Now we'll get on to a fun little 
finish here, I was playing around with some alcohol inks and I applied those over some clear tips and got some fun glass transparent jelly colors out of that and then applied the pigments over those. Came out really nice. Now some tips on using alcohol inks over your nails. First, you do not want to apply the ink directly onto your natural nail beds or any enhancements that you have. You want to use these over a clear coat because they will stain. You want to mask off your skin. You don't want it staining your skin. If you do get some on your, on your skin, you can use isopropyl alcohol to remove most of it. You can also use the alcohol to thin out any darker colors or to reconstitute any dried ink. If you sponge on the uh, ink onto the nail, you'll get a lighter, kind of watered look. More saturated if you brush it on. And if you want to mix your inks with your top coat, you can also apply it that way. Now these are just some of the inks that, I, that I've used. And as I said, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to apply it directly over the tip. But you, again, want to be sure that you apply this over a clear coat surface so you don't do, uh, stain your nails. And again, you can use a brush to apply them. You can mix the ink into your top coat or you could use a sponge to apply it. The sponge is pretty good at getting a nice even finish, but I did find that it produced a lighter effect, a more watered down kind of effect. So for our first one here, I'll do Sunset Orange. And again, for sake of time and in the video, I will be applying it directly over the tip. I've got my palette there off to the right, and I'm simply going to place some of that into the palette and use my art brush to apply it. You can use your no wipe top coat, or you can even use a top coat that has a tacky layer um, to apply your inks over. That's perfectly fine. So we're just going to put a little bit onto the palette here. A little goes a long way, so you don't need much. And now we're just going to pick up a little bit of that ink and brush it on. Now if you did what I did here, I picked up a little bit too much into the brush. It's going to kind of pool around the bottom of the nail along those if the side walls you don't need a lot when you're working with the sink to get good coverage so use a little less in your brush and you won't have the same problem that I did you do want to let this dry completely it takes about three maybe four minutes to dry you can help this along of course by blowing on it this particular color will dry to a matte when it's completely dry, but some of the other ones dry with a slightly um, shinier surface. Now we're going to use Volcano uh, over this particular pigment, but first I am going to top coat it. These inks will lift if you overbrush or press into the nail with the brush so you just kind of want to float that over. You don't want any of that ink tinting your top coat unless you're doing it on purpose. You can see how glassy that looks. And again cured 30 seconds in the LED lamp and we're just gonna go ahead and rub some of that volcano in there. I think this is very pretty over that orange. You're gonna get that gold color shift, a little bit of a pink color shift with this. Make sure you dust off any of the excess. And 
and just like with the other nails use the hard gel over this or two coats of your top coat over this and then uh, that nail is done it is quite mirror you also see a little bit of a green shift in there too now this next one is a fun kind of mosaic stained glass look. I'm simply going to use the daughter that's on the end of my brush, pick up a little bit of the ink and place it onto the nail in just random patterns. I'm going to use a lint-free wipe to change colors here. Now this is where you can let your creativity come through. You don't have to use a daughter. You can use a brush. You can use a sponge. You can use whatever comes to mind and make whatever design that comes to mind. I just thought this was a fun little effect. This indigo color is one of the most saturated colors I think they, they have. You don't need much of it. But funny thing is, I found when I was playing this one time with the blue and with the alcohol, it actually, when I added more alcohol, it turned almost like grayish black. It was weird. So the colors I'm using here are sunset orange, indigo blue. We've got clover, which is the green. The pink is a raspberry and the purple is purple twilight once you get those on the nail and let those uh, colors dry again about three four minutes blow on it a little bit a little bit sooner you can see how those dry kind of glossy on some of those just float your top coat over that And now that's ready to cure. Now I thought for this one Bermuda would look nice over over these colors. Give that a get that sticky putty off of there. The blue will give that a nice aqua color shift aquas and blues very pretty very glassy and now we're ready to go ahead and top coat that nail and there it is out of the lamp it's one of my favorite nails And we'll just do one more sample here. I'm going to use the raspberry color. I've already got it on the nail there. Brushed on a little bit of that. Let it dry. I'm going to add our top coat. And for this one, I'll use paradise over that. So you can see that the pigments are really applying pretty effortlessly. Nothing special is needed. I would say that if you are having problems with any pigment that I would say about 80-90% of the time it's probably your top coat and you may need to experiment with changing out the top coat or changing the cure times, experimenting with cure times to see if that makes a difference with how the pigments apply. I have not had a problem with one of the social claws pigments and I have all of them. I've never had a problem with how they apply. So 
it just might take a little bit of, of playing around to get it to work for you and there is the raspberry so our three samples there I did on camera they're on the right and uh, on the left I have four others that I've done off camera the green is clover and that was sponged on to give it a slightly lighter effect and over clover I've done paradise the next one after that is espresso again sponged on and then over that I've done volcano the next is raisin that was also sponged on and I did Bermuda over that I thought the berry color along with the blue color shift was very nice and next is botanical and over that I've done volcano so I hope I've given you guys some idea of just how versatile these pigments can be uh, of course depending on your base color and then which pigment that you use over those base colors again very mirror very smooth very easy to apply If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I will put links to all the products that I've used down in the info section below. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below for me. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later.